Good day folks, I will show you how to charge your batteries with zero current with only voltage. Well, not technically zero current, but near zero current. And there's a few tricks for making this work. See, what we have here is an AC adapter. The output is actually 2.3 volts, 3 amps. So this is a very low voltage, but we want to keep the whole charging process on the AC. So we're taking advantage of the 60 hertz AC of the wall. And we have a... This is my crude reactants from the capacitor. So this is basically, if you're going to look at it, if you're going to calculate it, this is the X value. So we're using the reactants. It's kind of like a rectifier circuit, but as you can see, wired a little bit differently here. And what happens is the capacitor drops the current with the reactants value. And calculated here, see I have a, I believe, 100 UF or something like that. Yes, 100 UF capacitor right here. So with the math at AC, you see, 2.3 volts, that comes up to about 17 milliamps. 2.3 volts, 17 milliamps. This is very, very low on the output side. We have a red diode as a rectifier, but no filtering cap. This is very important. We want to keep the pulse. We want the pulse. We want pulse DC, actually. We just filter out the negative side then the output of that goes into basically a cap dump circuit it triggers an oscillator which charges a high voltage cap and this charges it at every 36 volts into this battery here which is just a normal 9 volt dead battery I'm going to show you the meter right here and when I this charge is no problem. Cold charge because it's very, very minimal. Basically no current. So now at 7.45, this is a dead battery. 7.46, see as we're talking, there's a voltage rise. Because I'm charging it. And what's happening here is we're getting around 36 volts. I'll show you. The cap dumps 36 volts, so I'm just going to take it off the battery here and I'm going to clip it right onto the meter and you'll see 36 volts. So that's not bad considering we're using right from the AC. So there's my plus right here and here's my negative right here. There's my meter, you'll see here. Maybe a little spark because it's 36 volts. I changed there you go sorry 34 volts but yeah this is what happens this is the voltage that dumps from the capacitor charge into the battery and this is all very very it's using basically no current just voltage driven because the voltage comes to us for free the electric company does not charge us for voltage so if you can drop the current down to just about anything we only need to provide a fraction of a penny which we call the trigger and get more out of it stored in the battery because this kind of pulse charging will trigger a chemical reaction it's a cold charge the batteries don't explode and as you can see Amazon alkaline that you would normally throw away no need to throw away your batteries when you're doing this. So we're going to plug this back into here. This is plus and the plus. Right here. And minus into minus. Right here. And by the way, this works for all batteries. Um, car batteries, boat batteries. So yeah, you want to charge a car 12 volt battery like these here no problem with this method here so by the time you're done you might have to wait 20 hours but the point is you're gonna get 600 amps you didn't have to pay for that really so now it's zero so I hope you enjoy and understand what's going on here we put in a little bit tiny little amount we find ways to limit the current, gate the current, keep the voltage, dump it into a capacitor. This is basically the uh, Bedini trick. This is the cap dump. 
that goes into the battery every so often, every second, because of the pulsed nature of this system here. We're running everything pulsed, pulsed DC, right through. And that's part of the secret.